Hey guys, Scrumpy here with another episode of Breaking the Rules. So um, in this episode, we're focusing on exploration and we really want to find those those beacons, those high warning beacons. I did a little bit of light exploration, um, didn't really find much. I found one medium beacon that had a damaged nexus in it. We fought it. Um, I did get a, where is it? A alpha core for doing that. But the fight was, it wasn't anything. Um, Damage Nexuses, they don't have shields. So literally it was just fly in, fire off all my Reapers, and then the station blew up. Uh, we explored uh, these systems. Um, we didn't jump in. We just flew past them looking for beacons and there was nothing in this area. So I returned back home and um, on our way back here, we found a... Uh, merchant convoy now the contents of this convoy aren't really exciting however they do have an aurora and i would love to add a second aurora to the fleet um, auroras are very hard to find in the wild so if you do get an opportunity then you definitely want to jump on that um, after we destroy that we're going to head up to myrasora drop off all of our goods and then we'll probably explore it uh, looks like i did this area already but we'll probably explore right behind it um, and then this area to see what we can find. Oh, 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 oh. And then I guess we're taking on that fight right after. Stop it. Uh, we will pursue them and then we will transfer command for this engagement and it's actually well we're in the fastest ship so never mind uh, we'll bring in our eradicators they're pretty fast and we'll bring in we're bringing the griffin to help fight some of the uh, frigates See how that goes. We'll just do full assault. Uh, let's make sure our Reapers are not on auto fire. So one of the reasons I love the, let me clear that, one of the reasons I absolutely love the Aurora is um, its closest ship is the Fury, but the Fury is just so wide that like it just gets hit by everything. But the Aurora, once you drop the shield, if you're facing an enemy ship, your profile is so narrow that most of the things just slip past. So I really appreciate that. That's like a hidden benefits of using the Aurora over the Fury. I think that's everybody. Alright, fingers crossed we get that Aurora. I'm willing to drop a story point on it. Oh, and we don't even have to. So let's go ahead and claim that. Fantastic. Pick through the wreckage here. That's all garbage. Nice. Okay, when it rains, it pours. Um, We'll fight these guys really quickly, and then we'll go ahead and fight that as well. I would love to get another Aurora. That's insane. Uh, this is going to be a pretty easy fight, so let's just move into engage. Um, I don't know why we got the big map, but cool. Uh, we'll deploy everyone because no kill like overkill. Oh. Uh, uh, you can go ahead and retreat. Uh, actually, you'll be fine. 
You'll be okay. Man, three Auroras in one fleet? That is... That is busted. One Aurora is... is plenty. Alright, we should be careful here. Set you two on that. Where's the other eagle? So I'm gonna set you three on that. I'm gonna help the Apogee out, go destroy the other eagle. So similar to what I was saying about the Fury, the Eagle is just so wide that it's very easy to hit it. Um, it's unfortunate because it's supposed to be like the sleek and mobile cruiser uh, that you want to add to your fleet, like a light cruiser, and it just, it's just bad. Plus it's also really awkward to build, in my opinion. Uh, we'll pursue them. Will our second in command handle it? And we'll just deploy some of our faster ships. Nice. And we get everybody. Uh, we will take the monitor for sure. Third monitor in the fleet goes very well. We have too much, too much. We'll just drop the food. Not really a reason to hold on to that. Uh, we have a handful of officer promotions, so let's go through that very quickly. For our champion, we definitely want target analysis. This goes really nicely with high energy focus. For our monitor, uh, we definitely want ordnance. Well, I'll say ordnance expertise, but we don't have any weapons actually, so this is not. This won't benefit us. We'll take systems expertise and we'll actually um, make it elite. Uh, we'll take combat endurance. Oh, we can't make it elite uh, because we have field modulation. Okay. For our Aurora, or sorry, for our Apogee. We'll take field modulation and then we will take uh, I mean one large missile with additional missiles is pretty good. Combat endurance is also really good. We'll take, we'll, we'll take combat endurance. Of 
For our griffin, we want... Uh, probably helmsmanship. You can make an argument for ordnance expertise as well. But uh, definitely helmsmanship. And then for our monitor, we want... Systems expertise? Yes. These are some jank officers. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and fight this Tritachion fleet. And let's see if we can't get another Aurora. Jump over to the champion. Have you focused on the shrike? ships are faster than the Aurora, unfortunately. Yeah, but I'll just say, I'm pretty sure we can just destroy it with missiles. Uh, what are they carrying? Food and domestic goods? I should let them go. Nice! And we get a third Aurora. So, holy. Okay, well. Well, thank you, Tratagion. That's about a million credits worth of ships. So, I very much appreciate that donation. Let's go ahead and bank everything. Keep our transponder off. And uh, let's do some refitting. So the monitor we want to build. Eh, actually, we'll store this monitor just in case. And the other apogees we want to build the exact same. So let's move this up here. Uh, your buildings are hardened shields and expanded missile racks. Yeah. Why hardened shields though? Why not building hardened shields? Eh. Okay, I guess. We'll build in hardened shields again. I just don't know why. I mean, I guess there was nothing better, but. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and set that on auto fire. Make sure our Sabo pods are on auto fire. And then we can put this away and 
I guess we'll just keep the rest. So we're looking for an officer now, so that they can fulfill, they can fill in our other Aurora. Yeah, but my, my word. And let's put back the fuel. And let's continue on here. Oh, let's put back some of the supply. All right, so uh, let's carry on. Um, we're gonna go up here, just directly north, and then fly this way. Check out this system back here, and then scope out that. Uh, three auroras is a little bit excessive. We might want to put one back, but uh, in the meantime, we'll just we'll have fun with it. The low warning beacon. Sure. All right, so we're going to move into a gate here. We'll just deploy all three auroras. Why are you guys getting bullied? Bring in one eradicator just to help deal with some of these frigates. We definitely have the strength for this, but uh, it's just getting surrounded, which is a little dangerous. They're fine, the Shepherd. Good job, everybody. You're up 
there fighting a the shepherd. Okay. Nothing we really want there. We get a nice little level up. Uh, we're... Uh, well, I was going to say we can take Mr. Specialization now, but we can't. So I think I'm going to take Combat Endurance, and then we'll take Mr. Specialization next. So let's check out this grouping back here. I'm, I'm sure, well, yeah, I'm sure if I explored this, I would have explored that. That's the problem with not jumping into systems. Um, but we'll check the, what's going on back here first. Emergency burning over here, then, I guess. Aha! Finally! Alright, so we find our first um, high warning beacon. It's in a small system, which is also really nice. It means we don't have to do that much exploring once we jump in. Let's we'll see if there's anything else of interest over here. That is fantastic. Oh, two high warning beacons. Nice. All right, cool. So uh, we'll go ahead. This is, this is far from the core worlds. Um, but we'll go ahead and call the episode here. Um, in the next episode, we want to gather the proper fleet for some remnant farming. Go ahead and find a couple of these fleets, gather some alpha cores, and then we want to do um, the next step, which is going to be colonization. So, thank you. Uh, I know this episode is on the shorter side, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Other than that, grumpy out.